<laughs> and Bob Arum. <laughs> uh, that's right. You know I wanted to speak to you on this one, so I yeah. called this man for sure, yo. You understand? Yep. Now, if so, 50 Cent is instrumental in making this fight mm-hmm. with Annie and Floyd happen, 50 Cent will never shut up. This is why Bob <laughs> Arum and 50 are the devil. 50 already destroyed New York hip-hop. Could you imagine if he's a part of the biggest fight in the history of boxing? <laughs> He'll never <laughs> shut up. 50 albums, Bob. <laughs> biggest motor on the planet, son. You ain't shit. Highest gate in boxing, son. How, how, did this, how did this happen? How was this man in this position? Boy, well, you, know well, what? you know what? He, he, yeah, man. I, I didn't mean to cut you off there, Mac, but... but. You know what this guy Aram was was saying that you know that that he felt that Fifty was a real businessman, and, and it was a different change from who they you know normally deal with, i.e. Um, Mr. De La Hoya. So you know what this and, means? And what's that, brother? From the bottom of Bob Aram's heart, he hates Schaefer and he hates De La Hoya. Yeah. He, he hates no question. Cuts. No question. I'm in full agreement with what you just said. Yeah, he will no break $500 million with 50 Cent and Floyd, but not De La Hoya and Schaefer. <laughs> he hates their cuts. God, no, you know I why? Know, I don't know. You know why he hates them? Why? Because they left. Because he, he jerked them. Yeah, they left him. Floyd left too, but... He hates De La Hoya more than Floyd. I, do, I always <laughs> thought he hated Floyd more, but this tells me. He hates Golden Boy. He hates his guts. <laughs> I guess when, when 50 went at Golden Boy a couple of weeks ago, Bob Aaron was somewhere laughing. He said, oh, you know, he was, I, I could he do was business with rolling, him. Yo, you know he was doubled over from laughing, yo. For real. <laughs> you know that's a fact, dude. <laughs> hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. to me... I don't even care about the fight anymore. To me, Manny is tarnished. His last mm-hmm. couple of outings were horrible. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't care about the fight no more. I think both guys are too old right now. Floyd is tarnished by being in jail. Who knows what his right. skills are, what happened to him in right. there. And okay. this, this is something that should happen two years ago. But Golden Boy, Schaefer, and Bob Arum never saw eye to eye, so it never was going to happen. You know what? I, I, I agree with you in, in the fact that this fight should have happened, you know, a few years ago. I definitely feel you on that. Um, But I still, I st- you know what? Maybe I'm in the minority, you know, but I still want to see this fight. And and I was thinking, you know, while he was, while uh, Floyd was incarcerated, I was thinking, man, 2013 would probably be, that's it. You know, it, it, it cannot go past, like, the, the, the second half of 2013, because then it will never get done. It will never get done. So when I saw the initial reports of April 2013, I, I was kind of, like, you know, a little bit happy, you know? Yeah. But let me see. I mean. Next, next year, Floyd is going to be 36, and then Pacquiao mm-hmm. is going to be 34. It's old men in boxing right there. <laughs> Old man. Yeah, but you know what? There's a difference. There's two old men. Okay, not an old man and a young man, and we're watching the young man beat the hell out of the uh, the old man. You know, I just, my, what I'm saying is, I wanted to see them at their peak, but that'll never That's happen. Fine. I know what you mean. Well, we we've been robbed. Mean. We've been robbed. Now you're right. True story. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, moving on. That I believe that fight will happen when I actually see those two in the ring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and for you Filipino fans, I'm telling you now. I told you so. He get. Manny's getting exposed. I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a shock. I told you so. 